or gluten is actually a protein that's found in grains, predominantly wheat, rye, and barley. But there are some other grains. But if you just break it down, you can see that the green is made up of 6% protein, and you break it down further, it's made up of gluten. And the actual thing that people are reacting to when they are, quote, gluten sensitive or have celiac disease is the gliadin portion of that gluten protein. By the way, technically, uh, other grains that are considered uh, gluten-free grains, like corn, technically have gluten in them, they just don't have gliadin in them. But it's been used just broadly as gluten sensitivity. So sometimes people get confused because they hear, they, they may read a label that says corn gluten. Gluten sensitivity and celiac disease is not just a di digestive disorder. It can affect many parts of your body. In fact, it is true the most common symptom related to gluten sensitivity is related to the digestive tract, but the second most common place that you get symptoms from gluten sensitivity and celiac disease is the nervous system. Okay. In fact, you may not get any digestive complaints from having gluten sensitivity or celiac disease. Okay. You may, there are people, there, there are documented people that have complete loss of villi, which we'll talk about in a moment what that means, of their small intestine, complete damage of their small intestine, being pretty asymptomatic. So the way autoimmune disease works is you start with a protein molecule like gluten is what we're working with. Autoimmune disease can be triggered by other things. It can be triggered by infections. It can be triggered by other things, but in this case we're talking about gluten. So this gluten molecule has a certain protein structure called an antigen around it that actually is the thing that triggers antibody production so that there can be a gluten antibody, anti-gliadin antibody that can start being present and these antibodies build up high amounts to begin fighting this gluten. Okay? Whether it be sitting on the lining of your intestinal tract or whether it be in your bloodstream, the body starts developing these antibodies to fight against it. But it, it is signaled to produce these antibodies according to this protein structure around the gluten molecules, the peptide protein structures. So here's what happens in autoimmune disease is that there, you got to realize most of your cells are made up of protein. So now you take a part of your body such as a joint cell, or we could talk about a thyroid cell, someone asked me about that earlier. Okay, And the protein structure around a thyroid cell is seen by the immune system to be close enough to the protein structure around the gliadin molecule that it considers it's the same thing. So all of a sudden, these antibodies that were all built up to fight against the gliadin suddenly start attacking the thyroid cell. I'm going to tell you a story because this is one that I actually talked over the last few days about. This is a patient who uh, a year ago when she arrived in her office was on four medications for rheumatoid arthritis. She was in the middle of a major flare-up, had been in the middle of a flare-up for a long time. She was on high doses of prednisone along with about three other medications. Found out she was gluten sensitive. This what was, is what was going on. She got off gluten because here's what happens. Once you get this autoimmune going here, the body will start creating then specific antibodies against the joint. So you'll not only get the gluten attacking, but you'll get the, the, the you'll get your own body creating antibodies against those cells. That's what autoimmune disease is. And so in any case, she had all this going against the joint and uh, was able to get down as of, as of a, uh, two weeks ago when I saw her, she was weaning off her last drug. And, and the prednisone was the first one to go. Okay. So she's pretty much off of, going to be completely off her arthritis medication, which her rheumatologist said would probably never happen. 90% of all the immune cells in your body are located in your digestive tract. 90% of all immune cells are located in the lining of your digestive tract. So the reason the body does that is it's there to protect you. So from a very young age, your body has to decide, the immune system has to decide whether what's coming in is something that needs to be attacked or whether it's something that needs to come through. Obviously, you don't want to attack every food that's coming in because the food is something that you need to nourish your body. So from a very early age, your immune system gets grooved into what 
it should attack and what it should let go through. Another interesting statistic I just learned, uh, your entire digestive tract uh, rebuilds itself every 21 days because you're constantly digesting and sloughing off the inside. It has, it's, it's so productive to produce new cells that every 21 days it's essentially a whole new digestive tract.